is good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be going on a toy hunt so uh yeah we're going to be going on a toy hunt during this whole pandemic and i really don't look forward to it brad i got the light saw wipes got the freaking rubber gloves you don't want to be too freaking cautious out here you know got to take care of jojo at the house so uh we're just going to go on this toy hunt hopefully you know we find some stuff i'm going to try to go to three stores while at the same time trying to prevent you know trying to get just destroyed out there freaking camera batteries got two freaking bars i gotta get gas as well as well as get groceries i mean my god what are we doing out here brad gotta get back home to edit but we're gonna be hitting up these stores you know usually my stores don't have nothing i haven't done a toy hunt in a really long time so hopefully today we actually find some ish but uh we won't know until we get there guys so we'll probably hit up target first and then we will go to walmart and then we will go to my other walmart which is actually closer to my house but anyways guys i'm gonna shut the hell up i'll hit you guys up once we get to the first store Well, damn. I mean, they didn't have a terrible selection. All right, guys, well, I just left the store, and they had Keith Lee and that set. So they had, like, the Randy Orton from WrestleMania 35. They had Keith Lee. They had Alexa Bliss. They had the Brock and Seth Battle Pack. And they had stuff like that. Whatever that set is with the New Day and the pancakes and stuff like that, that's the set they have. I just checked my camera roll, and apparently I didn't get it. I think I have a clip of me, like, walking by it. All right, guys, so I did film me walking up to it. I somehow didn't get it or something like that, but you guys can see me prepping the area you know you got to look around you got to make sure people aren't looking at you when you film or at least in my case which i explain later in the video but you guys can see right there they have the keith lee basic set with alexa bliss and stuff like that and i will put that in but we did go to this first walmart and uh, it was it was uh yeah I, I just lost all the footage so that that, that this sucks man I'll, I'll just see you at target like damn bro i hey i freaking lost that footage i apologize for that hopefully i can do better at target over here garbage toy hunt and for there to be a pandemic going on brad it seems like everybody's kind of doing their own thing anyways so also i need a camera mount because i'm sick of holding this shit while i drive man it's not safe out here bro out here driving with a damn camera in my hand like bro that's worse than texting don't camera and drive, Brad. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys at Target when we get there. All right, guys, we made it to Target, and uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. See, the parking lot here is much more empty. There's, like, not a bunch of people here, which is way better for me when I go in there because when I'm recording these videos alone, everybody says, just go, bro. Nobody cares. Nobody's looking at you. But I have anxiety, all right? When I go in there and they're looking at me and I'm, like, freaking out, like, I, I don't like it. I feel like everybody's judging the shit of me. Like, look at this idiot. Look at how stupid this motherfucker is right here. How stupid is he? And then I feel like they go home and they're like there was this idiot and in reality like i wouldn't think anything of it if somebody was just filming like food or clothes or whatever but i feel like what we're filming and then you know i'm a grown man by myself just feel like a piece of shit when my son gets older it'll be a lot different because then i can just use him as bait and usually victoria helps me film these videos but being at it alone man shit sucks i'll see you guys on the aisle Hopefully. All right, guys, we freaking made it. We freaking made it. And they actually do have some stuff. You know, they got the Matt Hardy, you know, AEW. He's in AEW now. And now we have five of his elites on the shelf for WWE. And how crazy is that? Man's not even a part of the company. We also have the Network Spotlight Wendy Richter figure. The only one in the set that I really didn't want. We got Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura. I really wish they had Ricochet and Kurt Angle from that Network Spotlight set. But, you know, Brad, uh, it, 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 what else we got right here? We got, oh, the brand new WWE Elite Master of Kung Fu. Really good selection right here. And we got this basic Alexa, Brock. We got the Top Town Seth. We got some of those other things. Yeah, guy. I mean, just stacked up on AEW's Matt Hardy figures. I can't believe they made that that quickly. We got Alexa Bliss Basic 104. Shout out to my future sister-in-law for getting me that last week for no reason. I appreciate you so much. Got Keith Lee in the house, which is really sick. This isn't the Chase variant, I don't think. Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I can't believe they have so many Matt Hardys, though. Like, Jesus Christ. Christ on bike, Brad. But, yeah. AEW Matt Hardy and not much else. Well, damn. 
All right, so Target had much more than the Walmart did. You know, the Walmart only really had, I apologize for all the camera shaking in ish, but uh, Walmart really only had uh, the basics, the uh, you know, the Keith Lee set and stuff like that. This Walmart, or this Walmart, this Target had the Matt Hardy from WrestleMania and all those different Matt Hardy, I mean, the, all those different Matt Hardys. They had a ton of the same Matt Hardy, which I guess people should probably stock up on, but I did not pick up anything, so I am going to be headed to the last stop of the toy hunt, which is going to be this final Walmart, and we'll see what the hell's going on. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we're finally here at Walmart. Had to go by the post office and mail some stuff real quick, but now we are finally here. I'm gonna go up in there. This is the one that's like literally right by my house, like right outside my neighborhood. So hopefully they'll have something because I haven't bought anything yet. I gotta get groceries while I'm here anyway. So hopefully this isn't a wasted trip. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys when we get in there. All right, guys, not gonna lie to you. It looks pretty stacked up in here. We got the freaking new Roman Reigns right here, basic series 105 really excited to see this i know hero found it at his stores too so shout out to him we also got lince dorado elite 74 in the house i don't think they have amble but they do have my boy finn balor they got a couple of those i'll probably snag one just because when you see this figure at retail you got to snag it you got aj styles as well another great figure that i really want to get as well you have another andrade i feel like this one has a lot of problems like i've seen a lot of people we got the blue universal champion in the house i mean what is this we got new battle packs we got the you know the pancake set they had this at the other Walmart as well. Um, they also have uh, Basic Series 104, I think. Basic Series 105. We got, uh, let's see, you got Paige, you got Jeff Hardy. This Ronda Rousey actually looks badass. I wish it was an Elite or another Ultimate. I kind of want those colored boots for my Ultimate Edition, to be honest with you. But uh, I don't think I'm going to grab it just because I'd rather have the Ultimate Edition in there, you know, so... Anyways, um, they do have my boy John Cena as well. They got the Super Showdown attire. I wish that we could switch the arms. I would get this if you could switch the arms like you could in the old days. But uh, we got Jeff Hardy in the house. You got, you know, John Cena. We got, oh, snap, Lars Sullivan. I did not think they would have this. I forgot that that was a part of Basic Series 105. I'll probably grab Lars and Roman, and I possibly will grab Finn Balor as well. I think that that is what I'm going to do. Don't think I need anything else here, but that's, I mean, that's pretty solid. Got Elite Series 74. Again, we don't have any of the Chase variants or any of the, you know, different stuff like exclusives, but not a bad little toy hunt. Definitely better than the other Walmart and better than Target, so hell yeah. Alright guys, we are back home after the toy hunt and I did pick up these three things right here. I grabbed the Basic Series 105 Roman Reigns and Lars Sullivan as well as another Elite Series 74 Finn Balor. Probably didn't need the Finn Balor but I'm pretty sure I could use him for, you know, some fix-ups, you know, action figure surgery. I know we're going to use Roman and Lars in surgery so we'll definitely get started on that sooner or later and then Finn Balor will be used sometime as well. But I appreciate you guys checking out the toy hunt. I hate that you know, the first store didn't work out and I lost the footage and whatever the hell happened over there you know we we didn't get that but i am glad that we got to go to some other stores and check those out but i appreciate you guys watching let me know what you thought of the toy hunt down in the comment section below do you have any of these figures what do you think of these figures what do your stores have by you let me know down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video thank you